Okay, so uh, we're going to make some more minor updates to uh, the community site. Um, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take the requested tutorial link and we're going to throw it on the bottom navigation. And we're going to get rid of these extra two links. Um, so we need the top and bottom PHP files in here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these links and put them on a different line. And that's just to make it a little bit easier to read. So we're going to get rid of our extra two links here. And I'm going to take this request a tutorial link. I'm going to take Control X and Control S to save it. Save the file. And we're going to go to the bottom and we're just going to paste it in. So if we upload our top and bottom PHP, then if we go and refresh our page, we now have those links not being here. Um, and there's actually an extra space in between here, so I need to get rid of the space. Get rid of spaces. Okay, so if we upload the files, now if we refresh the page, whoops, not Twitter. So if we, we now have our page showing everything good, um, then we have our requested tutorial link here on the bottom, um, so it's everything's good. Um, another thing I wanted to address that if you're typing in your username, whatever you're typing in, hit tab, it'll go to this register link, which we want it to go to the password box, and you can type in your password, and then to the login button, then to the register link. So to do that, we need our status.php uh, file open. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change all of these variables, or all of these links. I'm going to get rid of the PHP extension and make it have our site variable on there. Um, for the profile link, you still need to have the question mark. Um, that signifies that we're going to have some get variables after it. Um, so you must have the question mark there, or else you'll just get a 404 error on um, on your page or website. So in order to put a space in there, in order to have tab index, it's what it's called. So we're going to say tab index equals, and for our username box, we're going to set the tab index to 1. For the password box, we're going to set the tab index to 2. For the login box, we're going to set the tab index to 3. And then for the register link, we're going to set the tab index to 4. So if we upload our status file, then if we refresh the page, see we can type in our username now, and then you can hit tab, and it'll type in your password, hit tab again, and it'll be on our login button, hit tab again, it'll be our register link, and then it'll just continue on throughout the page. So it, it kind of makes it a little bit easier to type in your username and password. So, yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to address is on the profile page, um, I forgot to check for a username while commenting itself. So we're going to put in an if statement. Uh, and this is after we check for our comment button. So we're going to say if username. And then put an open curly bracket or brace. And then we need to come down here. And you can actually just copy this link, or not link, this uh, this code right here. And this will be our message being displayed. Um, so it just makes it so a user has to be logged in, and just adds a little bit of extra security. So, whoops. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but alright. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to indent the rest of this code, save, and upload the profile file. Um, after you upload the file, there's not really going to be any visible change. To, there's nothing really I can demonstrate. Um, so we're just going to move on. Uh, the next update that I wanted to make is setting dynamic meta tags. Um, and this was requested on the requested tutorial page, how to set dynamic meta tags using, I think it was dynamic pages, which is sort of what we're doing here. Um, but in a different way, so hopefully this will help out whoever posted that. I don't remember your username, sorry about that. So on our index page here, or our top page here, we have our this meta tag for our content type. If we duplicate this line, so it's Control D and Notepad++, then if we remove all of this inside of here, this is uh, a meta tag, so you have your start meta tag, and then this is to end the meta tag instead of physically adding the end meta code you just add in a slash and then the end brace or uh, greater than the sign um, 
So inside of here, we want to set a name. And for meta tags, you want to use double quotation marks just because that's how it's done. Um, and this is going to be description. And then after that, we're going to have a content um, declared. And inside of here, we're going to have a PHP code block. And this is going to allow us to dynamically set uh, our meta tags. So inside of here, I'm going to name it uh, meta underscore description. So we're going to echo our meta description tag, our code, which we will declare uh, and show you how to declare in a moment. Then if we duplicate that line, change this to keywords and this to keywords. Uh, now we can dynamically get and set our meta tags. Now, for an example, I'm going to use the index file. So if we just go up here where we have our title being uh, declared, um, because we're setting our title and then in our uh, top file, we're displaying the title as our title. So inside of here is where we want to set our meta tags. So meta underscore description equals, and then we'll set the description there, and this will be for our keywords. So our description will just for now just be welcome to basicnick.com, and meta keywords are each keyword is separated by a comma so for example the first keyword I'm gonna say is basic Nick and then a comma the next one will be PHP programming comma HTML programming and if you're adding things that are um, like this so PHP programming is one keyword you may also want to add in a keyword as PHP and then also one is HTML, and then programming. So really you can set, obviously, whatever uh, keyword you want for your own website, um, but do note that each keyword is separated by a comma instead of just a space. So that is something you definitely want to note. So if we upload our top and index file, and then after we upload, if we refresh, actually before we refresh, if I hit Control U, which will allow me to see the source code, uh, you can see we don't have our meta being displayed at all. And if we refresh the page and then hit Control U to see your source code, we have our description and keywords being displayed. And since we are on the index page or the yeah, the index page, we have just uh, our description and keyword keywords. But if we go, for example, to the videos page and then view our source code, you can see we don't have a description and we don't have keywords because we haven't declared those variables and set them equal to anything. So all you have to do is in your other files, you just have to have uh, these two lines, our description and our keyword for our meta tags, our variables declared, and then whatever you want them to be for that individual page, and that will allow you to dynamically set uh, meta tags, and which will also help for uh, search engine recognition and things like that. So this concludes this video. Um, in the next video, I will um, discuss how to dynamically set our um, profile titles. Um, by getting the, pro the user's username from the database and then setting it part of the title, and then and then yeah, so check out that video.